All right, here's just a quick video that uh, will describe the difference between irrational numbers and rational. Just definition first off, rational numbers are numbers that have a repeating decimal. And sometimes that might be confusing because you look at the number, say, 9, and that's a rational number, and you think, well, there's no decimal there. How is it repeating? Well, I could write 9 as 9.000 or 0, and that 0 repeats on forever. So it's a repeating decimal. If you take, uh, say, another example of 1 third. So 1 third is a fraction, and when you divide those two uh, on a calculator, you get 0 0.33 on forever. If it's a repeating decimal, then it's a rational number. And you can do that with any fraction. Sometimes fractions take a while to start repeating, uh, but um, uh, all fractions will eventually start repeating. Let's maybe try one, like say 3 sevenths. Let me try that. Let's, uh, um, here we go. So here's a calculator. 3 divide 7. Okay, there. Okay, do you see where that number starts repeating? 428571. Oh, 428571. Oh, there's quite a few decimals there, but they do start repeating. So you get the same pattern. Okay, so uh, that's what a rational number is. An irrational number is one that the decimal doesn't repeat. And there's only a few examples of irrational numbers. Like, for example, if you take the square root of a number, say the square root of 10. You try that on the calculator. Let's try it. Okay, square root 10. Where's square root 10? Whoops, 10. And you look at that number and it doesn't start repeating. Even if you um, extended that to more decimal places, you wouldn't be able to find a pattern that repeated uh, consistently the whole time. So those are irrational numbers. So square roots are good examples. Careful with square roots, though, because you could take, like, the square root of 36, and if it comes out even, then that's not classified as an irrational number. It would be rational, because it would be 6 or 6.0000. Okay, so not all square roots um, uh, will be irrational, uh, just the ones that don't come out even. Um, other examples of irrational numbers, and we have one example you've seen before would be pi. If you put pi on a calculator, I wonder if I can do that with this calculator here. If it was pi right there. So pi, 3.1415926, 5359. That's another example of a number that never repeats. And it's the relationship between... Uh, the circumference of a circle, and the distance across. Um, another irrational number would be the number E. Uh, let's see the number E. You might not have seen that, but you'll see it later in um, uh, when we do the log section. Where's my letter E? Right there. So E, uh, 2.718282846. So there's no pattern that starts repeating. Therefore, it's an irrational number. Hopefully that helps you distinguish between the two.